Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you have not subscribed, can you please go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and also if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is always linked in the description down below. So I would appreciate it if you follow me there as well. Um, we have a Madam Glam uh, video today. So we will get, and as you guys hear, heard, probably this seems like popping open. Um, we do have the lovely collection of the month of November. For those who don't know, Madam Glam is vegan and um, cruelty free. They're also palm oil free, uh, 21 free formula, and hemma free. Um, they are, their socials, they are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course YouTube. So if you guys are not following them on any of their socials, you guys can go on over and follow them and subscribe. I'm sure they would appreciate that. Um, and then also if you guys are interested in any of these colors or the collection, um, you guys can go on over to their website. I will have my bit.ly link linked in the description down below. Um, you can save 35% off with my code, which is nailed by Lord at 35. And um, you would just go directly to their link and then, or to the Billy link, and that will take you directly to their website. And then when you're going to pay, you would select pay as you go. And then, yeah, you would save the 35% off with that code. Um, and then obviously you can, um, there's also a selection, a section for, to become a member. Um, so if you wanted to become a member, you would all, you could do that as well. Cause they do have a, an amazing VIP membership. Um, and you could read about that on the website as well. But yeah, so I'm not gonna, um, swatch these right now because I already, um, did because there's so many of them and I'm going to be, whenever I, for those who know, whenever I do the, the look the same in the same video, I don't swatch them, especially when there's this many in the collection. So let's get on with the, I will show you guys each bottle as I always do. I love how they have their swatches on top. So when you store them, you see the color on top and the names are on the bottom. So this is pure nature. Let me take these out of frame so that it's not focusing on these. And you know what? I should probably put them over here so my arm doesn't keep going under the camera, right? <laughs> there we go. So this is pure nature. And then this is it. Beautiful. So it's really warm in my room, so it's the polishes are really running, but that's it. This one, which is Divine Glam, it's like a brown. Well, it's not like a brown, it is a brown. <laughs> it's like actually like a between a, it's like a chocolatey brown. I think it has like a hint of like purple ish, not purple, I'm not sure. It looks, ooh, it looks super dark on camera on the screen, but it's not dark, that dark. I think over here. Yeah, it looks super dark on, this, on the camera, but it's not that dark. And then we have this beautiful purple one, which is called Purple Era. This one's beautiful. It's like a plum purple. Whenever I put my hand underneath it, it makes it look darker. So I want you guys to see more of the true color as much as I can. Show you guys the true color. And all their bottles are 15 ml. They come off so, it's coming off so much darker on camera. I'm not sure why. Well, on my side. And then when I upload it, it's like fine. <laughs> um, as I was saying, they are all 15 ml and they are um, glass bottles, which I love. And the back of the bottles do say, or not to say, they do have their ingredients. And then they tell you also the directions back here. So like if you have a UV light, they'll tell you how long or an, um, the LED light, it tells you how long to uh, cure it for. 
It's like a UV light system. I'll tell you, you know, two minutes per coat. And then it has warnings. And then on the bottom also it has what I already read, read to you guys, the vegan cruelty free, or not read, but told you guys, the 21 free formula, the hem, that they're hemma free, they're palm oil free. And then after you guys open each bottle, they're good for 12 months. I have that little symbol right there. I love that 12 is for. This one is Scorpio season. This is a beautiful, like, navy blue, I want to say. Or not, it, it's, let me see. It's not like, no, sorry, not a navy blue. It's like a, between a, it has like an aqua-ish color to it, tint. Yeah, the stomach's really dark. Um, oh, I almost spilled it. There. It's a really beautiful blue. And then, they do have this one here, which is astral projection this one <laughs> this one looks super dark it's not that dark <laughs> again i see how it comes out on screen you guys get more of the true color right here on the on this on the swatch from here but then when I upload it, like I say, you guys will see the, the true color. And then we have this beautiful pumpkin pie. It looks like a pumpkin pie to me. And it's actually called Astro Pie. But it doesn't that look like the pumpkin pie. I love it. And you guys, I love that these bottles, or not bottles, sorry, these polishes, they do not have a harsh chemical smell to them at all. They have like a, a, I'm not sure what kind of, see that one's picking up the true color to it. Really beautiful. I love this one. Um, it has like a sweet scent to them. Not that harsh chemical like the nail lacquers do. Does not have anything near a scent like that. <laughs> then we have this, this is more of a nude-ish color. This one's called Autumn. Aura. And this one's more, it has more of a pink when you swatch it, or on my swatch stick, I'll show you guys here, hopefully it picks it up. Here it looks completely nude. <laughs> completely nude. <laughs> oh, what are not your words? Yeah, it looks nude, but on the swatch stick, oh, let's see, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks nude, but it's more of a pink, uh, it has like a pink undertone to it. It's a beautiful color, but it, I guess hopefully on camera when I upload it picks up the true colors. And then we have the last one, but not least. It looks white. It's called Milky Way. And it does look completely white, but... If you guys have seen their, their white... Let's see here, it's picking up like a grayish white. It's not grayish white. It does look more like, does like a white. Like, I'm going straight to the white next to me. It's a beautiful color. And then I have one more thing to show you guys. Alright guys, and as I was saying, here is the main event of the show. It is their new No Wipe Silver Chrome Liner Art Gel Paint. I'll get close up because I know from far away you can't really see what it says because the reflection. It is amazing. Like I said, it is a, a no-wipe top coat so you can put it over builder gel, uh, poly gel, acrylic, pretty much any type of enhancement. Um, and you do not have to put top coat on it. You always can, but you it's not a, like you don't have to put it on there. Um, this brush, as you can see, is super thin. It is a 14, the length of it, I believe, is 14 mm. Um, it's awesome to do like very thin lines 
and it's better to do thin lines because if you do thicker lines it's a possibility of wrink you'll have possibility of wrinkling which you definitely do not want um and then to cure it in your led light you want to do one minute and then in a i'm sorry and yeah in your led light it's one minute and your uv light it's two minutes um it's a no wipe like i said earlier it's a no wipe formula so you do not have to apply the top coat and we've already said that <laughs> um what else do i remember about this I did already play with it so I do know that it is very highly pigmented and it's like a medium viscosity I would say um, and you could do all kinds of detailed artwork um, I did paint this oop, <laughs> it went flying this uh, one with and I put uh, a matte top coat only because I do better I use Madame Gwam's uh, Velvet Matte Top Coat. I personally, you don't have to, but I personally work better um, when it comes to stuff like this on a matte uh, nail because I feel like the, ah, uh, why am I going crooked everywhere? <laughs> I feel like I get more, um, uh, like the brush doesn't slide too much and right now I'm just showing you guys quickly because um, again I'm gonna use it in the nail look today I just want to show you how thin you can get the lines or how thick which again you really don't want to do thick lines I believe if you are not a VIP member, you can purchase it for, I could literally do like a little snowflake with this. Super cute. Um, it's the liner that I will be using in today's look. I'll get close up and personal so y'all can see. And it is 8 ml if I did not already say that. So you can barely see it. There you go, 8 ml. So there we go. So let's get on with the nail look, y'all. Okay, you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with, I don't know if this one's called Purple Era. I guess what you pronounce it, E-R-A. E, yeah, E-R-A. Um, I'm going to do the full finger on the pinky, the middle finger, and the thumb, and then on the pointer and the ring finger, I'm going to do one coat, I think, of this one, which is the Autumn Era. See, not even Aura. Put on the Madame Glam, um, the base coat. So, they, all the nails... I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but they've been buffed and they have uh, the base coat. So I'm not talking about it now. <laughs> Oops, I'll have it. Take it away over here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just bring some uh, acetone, not acetone, what the heck, uh, some alcohol, and I've got some alcohol in a damping dish so I can, you know, clean up the if you will <laughs> if I need to let's put this this way it is so warm in here that this polish is like leaking not leaking but it's like going everywhere I 
Oh. I couldn't find my longer um, almond nail tips or full cover. I love this color purple. So what I'm going to have to do is to get into by the cuticle, I'm going to use um, a very thin little uh, micro detailer. I'm going to take it off the off the stem here. Just so I can get in. Just as we would like if it was our own hand. So we don't get it on our own skin. You definitely don't want to get it on your skin. Just like that. So then I will do that for the middle finger. And then I'll just do these two on camera. And I'll do the thumb and the second coat of this off camera. Just so that you guys are not. Getting bored. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Clean it up and then yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I've done. I just went ahead and painted these. Um, I put the two coats on there and the top coat. The reason I did this is because, uh, the reason I did it off camera, I should say, is because, like I said earlier, the main event is the silver chrome liner gel. Um, wait, what is it called? The silver chrome liner gel paint, actually, is what it's, what it's called. So that's the main event, right? That's what launched last week. Um, so I want to focus more on that and then I went ahead and I put these on here because these are the um, for these two fingers this is uh, where I'm going to be doing the little line at um, so this one is the this one here the autumn aura and it, it, yeah it's mid. Um, so I went in with two coats and I did put in put not in, on a matte top coat because it's easier for me to do um artwork per se <laughs> or line you know lines or whatever on a matte background versus like on this where it's like gonna slip and slide everywhere and for me it is at least so I went ahead and I put a little bit of the purple um the purple this one on my palette and I already did the one line um, and now I'm going to use the amazing silver chrome ah, liner gel paint see how long <laughs> it takes me to do this little line because now I'm gonna go this way with it so this is my plan. That's my plan. Oops, my finger's sliding over here on my glove. Okay, I didn't want the edge to be that thick. I 
And what I love about this is you can get it the line as thick as you want or as thin as you want. And then with this, you can also do, you guys know how people do the, um, use the, what is that called? The, that extension nail, non stick hand gel stuff. And use that and then do that, that 3D. And then they put that silver, the chrome powder over it. Well, now instead of making all that mess with it, you could just use this and you're done. <laughs> It'd be so much easier. I wanted this to be a little thinner than what I did it, so that's why I cleaned this up. But I just want to show you guys how easy it is to clean up and make it thinner. And hopefully I was in cam in book or on camera there in frame. <laughs> so that's what that looks like and I like it. So I started and I wasn't recording. Or it stopped recording, I don't know. But on this one I decided I wanna do a French tip. And then either I could use, use my brush and you'll want to go the same direction so you don't have like all these different lines on there. Or I could have easily just put in like my application brush into this little bottle and use that which would be much faster. And at this point I probably should because my video is super long. Or you could just use the stem. <laughs> oh my god, I love this stuff. I think I'm going to get some 3D, um, the clear one, and just make like a little line. Look at that. Obviously I have to clean up, you know, the line. Yeah, so all I got to do is clean that little piece up in the middle. Let me go ahead and do that, guys. Okay, you guys, what I did, <laughs> I ended up going in with the, um, the silver chrome paint gel liner, and I'm going to close it up before I spill it, because it is literally like liquid metal, it will be all over your desk if you spilled that. Um, I am going to go in with, if I could find it, um, I just had it out here, with my Madame Glam application brush Oop, see <laughs> I literally just knocked this over with the brush um I went ahead and I put some oh you can't see right there um I'm gonna wet the brush I don't want to go in dry because I don't know what would happen so it's just alcohol that I used alcohol 70% I think is what I have so I went ahead and I as y'all see, I put the chrome on top and then the purple as a little accent line on the bottom. And I just want to show you guys that you can use this chrome um, with or without the liner brush. So you can make like those little designs in the middle of the nail. Or wherever you want on the nail. Or you could do the Frenchie with it. 
and we have no mess. So the chrome powder, look at that, done. I hope I was in frame. <laughs> it is done. Oh, you know what? I need to get closer right here. If I go over to the purple, I could just clean it, which I did go over. I love this stuff. I hope they come out with more colors. That was so easy. And then I'm just going to use my little cleanup brush. Oops, I probably should not have put that in the <laughs> alcohol bowl because now my bowl is full of glitter. Or other shininess from the, <laughs> the chrome. I love this liquid chrome. Look at how easy that was to clean off. And then these uh, gel paints, um, gel polishes, of course, Madam Glam's are all self-leveling. I'm just going to tip this over so that the chrome levels a little bit. Um, from the tip on the front sheet, I have an announcement that y'all do not want to miss. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. I hope you guys like it as much as I do, because I honestly love this look. Um, I will turn her little hand around, get up close and personal. Ah, oh, this one's turning a little bit. So on this one, I just went in with um, all clear rhinestones and some caviar beads. So I decided to do the French tip with the brand new Madame Glam Silver Chrome uh, liner gel paint. This stuff is amazing. You do not make any mess. There's no powder to make a mess or anything like that. You can make your lines as thin or as thick as you would like them. You could, like I said, make your Frenchies with it. And on this nail, I also just decided to stay with the purple. But yeah, guys, that is the finished look. Again, I hope y'all like it as much as I do. I truly love this look. I had to dress up her little hand. <laughs> um, but again, um, oh, my announcement is that Madam Glam did um, give me four. They were so nice enough to give me four gel polishes of my choice um for my giveaway so that is one brand that i have um that is gonna give me or that gave me i already have them here at home um and so you guys stay tuned for the giveaway video that i will be an announcing in that video i will be showing everything that i will be doing in my giveaway um, and I will be telling you guys in that video, I don't want to, you know, take, make this video any longer or take up this video, uh, to tell you guys more about it. I just wanted to let you guys know, Madam Glam did give us four polishes, gel polishes of my choice, like I said. So I'm like, so excited about that for the winner. Um, but yeah, this video is, like I said, it, uh, about the house of giving the eight polishes that are so beautiful all eight i really really like them love them and then of course the new launch of last week this one here beautiful absolutely beautiful silver chrome uh liner gel paint yes i said it like 10 times in this video and it's a-okay because it's all about that it's about that gel liner um so I hope you guys love the gel liner, are excited about it, go get it. You guys can save 35% off. Remember, my code is down 
in the description below. Lore or nailed by nailed underscore by underscore Lore thirty five, um, and then you guys would select pay or yes pay as you go, and um, you guys can get it and save thirty five percent off. So y'all don't have to pay full price for that gel liner. So go run, run to their website, y'all. <laughs> Again, I will have everything linked down below. You guys, if you are not subscribed, please go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, so y'all can enter the giveaway. Because everyone must be subscribed. Uh, you know, that's one of the rules. Also, um, please smash that thumbs up button for your girl. I would really appreciate it. And it helps me out so much, you guys. It really does. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is always in the in the description down below. Um, if you are still here to the end, put uh, a put <laughs> I don't know a butterfly down below. Um, so yeah, and I just wanted to say thank you to Madam Glam for reaching out and sending me not only the whole collection of uh, house. Of, House of Giving, but also asked me if I wanted to launch, be a part of their launch for the gel liner, their silver chrome gel.